Hey guys, it's Cass. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Hollowcraft SMB. I'm in this little spot right here. As you can hear, a moss farm is kind of going crazy above me. But we have mostly been AFK because, for one, I'm spreading and growing mushrooms. For two, always working on honey stuff. But for three is the goodies in here. Now, I need to get about two of these full um, and a lot, a lot of leaves. Like, like a lot as in thousands and thousands and thousands. I can't tell you guys too much what I'm gathering all these materials for. It's helping another SMP member or two or a few build something very, very, very big. So a lot of the next week or so is really going to consist of me really trying to gather and help help gather these materials basically just so and also help in the build when it comes time to do that. So it's going to be quite a bit of AFK, quite a bit of grinding, and I still have my storage situation to fix up and get done. But my main, 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 main priority in this episode is to get the ribcage bone um, barn. Basically, yeah, ribcage bone barn set up for all of our scaly horses, which now we have eight. I've kept my eyes out for more every time there's been a thunderstorm. They've been unsuccessful in finding any more recently. So hopefully, you know, I'm always going to be hopeful that maybe more kind of come in and we get to include them in with the family. But... Yeah, let's jump on in. It's going to be, like I said, a lot of resource gathering, so probably a mix of replay and first person point of view. And yeah, we'll see what we get up to in this episode. I really don't exactly know, so hopefully it turns into something great and hope you enjoy watching.
Okay, so a few last minute kind of decisions, you know, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, you know, that house that we're um, not getting to in this area right now. <laughs> I am trying to pull out this layer a little bit. Clearly, I feel like it needs some significant like terraforming up. But just wanted to pull it over so I could get rid of these blocks right here that had snow falling on them. And then I decided that I really like don't like the way that this is all open. Like yes, the cave, all of that. But I think, and I may change my mind, but which you know, <clears throat> I'm um pretty good at doing, changing my mind, you know, that Libra energy that I have. I think I'm going to kind of curve this side and so I started to go up here but I think I'm actually going to curve it in up here on top with the stone and then cover all of this in. Up here is where we have that other walking path. No, actually the other walking path is up here right there in between these two houses where you see this copper piece coming out. I really don't know what that is. I think it's just like a little dark area lit up. But I'm going to completely conceal this entire side over here into stone and make like a more prominent, better doorway. Um, probably honestly fix up this whole situation with the dark oak like I've kind of done all over there and you know along here. And then make a nicer stairway down to that. And then the rest of this is all going to be covered up. So when you look at my place, um, this will be rounded, this edge will be a little more rounded, and all you will see, which shaders really help, is all of this, which I'm going to cut some of this back and trim it up a bit so you can maybe see a little bit more of our enchantment area, which still has dirt on the floor. It's a work in progress, guys, always. But I think Tentatively, possibly, maybe it'll change about 13 more times. That is kind of, I like standing here. <laughs> that is kind of my plan. Need to get this shaped up more. Get this shaped, get all this covered, decorate that path to be a lot nicer. Honestly, finish setting up this spot that's original from the village. And then let's just take the quickest little pit stop down here. I could show you what I've been AFKing for days upon days. So there's not a ton in here. That's because it's all right here. And for the build that we're doing, we need, <clears throat> let me pull up my list. <laughs> we need 10,076. I'm going for like 10,100 blocks of moss. 2,500 amethyst, 2,200 oak leaves, like, so I didn't even get to the numbers for the azalea and the flowering azalea. Here's some of the other items that we're going to need. This one's not included, but yeah, working on the amethyst. I've got this of moss so far. So in total, I believe the 10,000 is two and a half double chests. So, um... She working away up there. But yeah, I think, you know, I get stuff in place like this really ugly ladder that I will eventually, you know, trim up and make nicer. But I think that's kind of my idea and it feels right. It feels better. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to frame this out. So I'm probably going to chop back all of these ones that are kind of blocking the view of everything right here. Um, and then I want to spread out more of the dripstone blocks this way, along with finishing leveling out all the water. But at least I kind of, at least I kind of have more of a plan that I'm like in sync with. Oh, and then I think I showed possibly at some point a uh, replay kind of time lapse very minimally of this, but this is as far as I have kind of brain processed making the rib cage setup. 
not a whole lot. It's entirely dirt. I'm I'm still having thoughts about it. So I feel like it's a little not too curved. I don't know. I, I need to um maybe just bring the bones out start working on it because I need to figure out like how much space I'm going to have for each one of the skeleton horses now that we have eight and two of them have to be housed together so I think they'll be housed together along that back wall that would two three four five six seven eight one two three four five I guess three I'm shaking around a lot, I apologize. But I think that would mean three on each side, the two together in the back, and I'm not going to store like my horse, which is lovingly right here getting pushed around by all of our colorful sheep. <laughs> but that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have my hand in a lot of buckets and thoughts and things, and I think I filmed this, and honestly, I don't hate this like little star things so I don't know I might um figure out a way to repurpose this because he was so very sweet to make me something so sweet like that which I haven't taken any of the goodies out yet but I feel a lot better getting that cobble back kind of coming up with a plan and yeah I'm feeling a little bit better